Hi, it's October 7th, 2017, the seventh day of our social media project. For today's topic, I'm reporting on bio cooking gel created by the Nigerian company Green Energy and Biofuels. Many people around the world cook with solid fuels like charcoal, dung, or kerosene, but the exposure to so much smoke causes at least 5.5 million people to die from illnesses caused by home air pollution each year. Annually, about 120,000 people in Nigeria die from smoke inhaled while cooking with firewood. So the Nigerian Renewable Energy Corporation, Green Energy and Biofuels, decided to do something about it. According to the owner of the company, environmental award-winning Femi Oye, the biogel project started as a method to help women cook in safer conditions and save money on kerosene. He started looking more in depth on safety and environmental issues when his grandmother died from respiratory illness when he was nine years old. Oye explains, from there, the project went to another level and we started asking, how else can women stop using kerosene permanently to cook? So from there, we started thinking about providing alternatives for women to cook without using firewood, charcoal, or kerosene. That is when we discovered we can also get a solution to replace that with our biofuel gel. So how do you make biogel? Well, waste from sawdust and the flower water hyacinths are converted into the gel. Basically, the objective of making biofuel from water hyacinths is to obtain the alcohol from the plant's cellulose, which contains sugars that react with a fungi like yeast and then produce alcohol. Hyacinths grow wild throughout Nigeria. Using them for producing biogel reduces deforestation as opposed to cutting trees down to make firewood. Using sawdust in the biogel also helps eliminate air pollution because sawdust normally piles up to be burned in yards, but they're also being reused for a better purpose as the cooking gel. Over 200,000 households in Nigeria and Ghana use the biogel and have also purchased the company's eco-friendly cook stoves as opposed to using stoves that require the less environmental fuels. More and more women have gotten involved in this renewable energy project. They have networked so that Biogel also sells its products in other African countries outside of Nigeria, such as Cameroon, Togo, and Ghana. Oye hopes that other nations in West Africa and eventually across the globe will take part in cooking with safe, renewable energy, not only for the benefit of their own health, but for the well-being of our planet.